Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 30th of the September Lico Day Challenge. Last day of the month. Yeah, I hope you're doing well. Hope uh, that's been dominating. Hope that's great. Um, yeah, so I am a little bit later on the day, obviously, if you're a follower. But, and it is the last day, but I've been flying. I've been uh, jet lagged or whatever. Been in the air for eight hours, nine hours. And, you know, I had a couple of hours on both sides. And I couldn't do it earlier, but... Now I'm here. I just got back maybe five minutes ago. So let's see how how uh, how everything kind of gels out. Okay. So yeah, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. And let's look at today's farm, which is petition to K equals some subsets. Okay, given away nums and an integer K return true as far as the K sum that K non empty subsets such that sums are all equal. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, the first thing to notice is that n is going to be less than 16, so you can do brute force, or, sorry, brute force of dynamic programming, and that's where my inclination is going to go. The frequency of each element is in the range of 1 to 4, what does that mean? Uh, hmm. Does that mean that each element... Wait, what? I, I'm not actually sure what the frequency of each element means, but um, I don't even know if that ooh, matters. But yeah, uh, okay. <clears throat> there are a couple of ways to do it. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think DP... Uh, so DP 2 to the 16, uh, let's see. So for this one, I think the prerequisite I was going to say is going to be uh, bit mask uh, dynamic programming. Today I'm a little bit later and I, I want to go get food and stuff to be frank. So I'm not going to be as in-depth as, as I usually am with these things. Um, that said, I have a couple of videos in the past where... I have a couple of videos in the past where I do go over dynam uh, dynamic programming, bit mask, and stuff like that. So um, either me or hopefully someone will put a link in the comments below and then we can kind of do it together. But, um, but yeah, let's see. Um, so there are a couple of states that you can think about. The one that we, you know, we want to take advantage of is, N less, is less than 16, as well, which all of them. Um, there are a couple of possible ones, right? Possible states consideration. Uh, ooh, man. For example, you could have 2 to the n, and then uh, for, you know, every possible subset, and then maybe the running sum. But that doesn't really uh, quite work, because the running sum could be up to, for each element is this, then um, it might get big. So that would be, you know, 2 to the 16 is 65k times a big number is probably going to be too big to store in memory. So then... The thing that we can get though is just two to the n, but then it's gonna give us a three to the n, uh, maybe times n running time as well. Mm, no, I think it's just yeah. So it's something like like that. Let me pull my calculator. What is three to the sixteen? Three to the sixteen is four million. So uh, is it wait that, or forty? Is it four million or four t million? No, I misread that. Forty three million. So that's gonna be a little bit slow. <laughs> So let's eliminate that. Uh, hmm. But <clears throat> whose sums are all you go? And of course, um, maybe there are just not that many possible sums. Um, let me think about that. So the 3 to the 16 case is definitely the, the, the worst possible. But I think maybe it's not that... Maybe there's not that many possibility of a pre-process. I think that's going to be what I'm going to YOLO a little bit on. Um, I cannot prove the harder bell. But I think some of it with respect to like... Okay, because the pre-processing we want to do is... Uh, we want to look at every. We want to calculate every subset in which you can get um, sum over k or whatever, right? So because every component has to be the same sum, which is sum over the sum of every element over k, because you have to use every element. Wait. And also, one thing I would also say is that this is subsets, not subsequent. So, um, 
yeah things are a little bit awkward because it's a, a way but yeah but i think hopefully that makes sense because there's not that many my, my hypothesis is that there are not that many subsets that sums to um a given thing um the only thing that may made that untrue is that if they're all the same element right if they're all the same same element like for example if it's one 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 or something like that then you can have a lot of possibilities and that's where i think this frequency of each elements in the range one and four uh comes into play a little bit um that said you can actually do tricks to kind of get rid of dupes but it just makes the problem more complicated so let's get started on this and then let's see if we need um uh, let, let's get let's see if this um needs any a pr additional pruning right so okay so target is you go to the sum of the nums uh my, uh, k well one thing is that i guess we should check first target uh was it leftovers say <laughs> let's use diff mod one of my favorite functions and then if leftover is greater than zero, then we return false because there's just no way to make them all equal. Otherwise, we go to the target and then we have a pre-process sub array, right? Pre-process. Um, so then we pre-process the array first, uh, or possible, su mm, possible subsets maybe? I don't know. Let's just call it possible for now. Naming things is tough, so try your best at home. So yeah, so now for mask is in range of one to uh, n. Hmm. Didn't do n is equal to length of nums yet. Um, and we start at 1 so that we don't have to count to 0. That doesn't really matter. But, but yeah, so then for x is for i in range of n, if mask of if this bit is used. And again, uh, I'm not going over bit mask today, um, but I have plenty of videos that where I do that. So hopefully someone will share a link or something. Um, but yeah, but basically this is just saying if we want to use this, then yeah, current is equal to zero, then current do 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 num sub i, right? And then uh, you could actually use enumerate as well, but eh, it's fine. Uh, and then if current is equal to target, then we add this as a possible bit mask, right? <coughs> and okay. And then now we can do the brute force dynamic programming. Uh, maybe mm, we'll see. Um, yeah. And then so we start with a bit mask. Uh, po let's just call P for possible. So we have a mask. If mask is equal to, um, you know, this thing, which means that we used all of them, or maybe zero, maybe zero is a little bit clear. Uh, if we use all of them, then we return true. Otherwise, otherwise, we go, okay. So we start at one. So for possible mask in possible, if the current mask and P mask is equal to zero, meaning that there's no that music point? Huh. Anyway, I don't know. Hmm. Huh. That's a little bit awkward. Hmm. Anyway. Uh okay. So no, actually we want this to be equal to P mask because meaning that every mask on a bit mask is possible and we want to prevent this because I always forget order of operation with respect to equal you get screwed by it okay then we go uh if p of mask we we flip disk uh then we turn true otherwise we turn false and this should be good enough uh in terms of correctness is it actually fast enough i guess we'll see um, of course, we, we didn't do any memorization yet, so this isn't going to be fast enough. But that's actually, I mean, we have small things, so let's actually at least test to see that it does. Um, I know that a lot of people advocate, or not uh, advocate per se, but look, what actually happened is that a lot of people just put like, you know, LRU cache here. Um, I, uh, I mean, that's fine, but... I, I, I would advocate, like, especially if you're practicing for interviews and stuff like that, make sure you know what this means. And that's why I almost never do this in video. Um, 
That's basically what you want to do is, okay, what are the possible inputs of mass, right? Mass could be from 0 to 1, uh, or, uh, okay, 2 to the n minus 1. So then we just have to put, that's all the possible inputs. So then we just have to put it in a, an array. I always do 2 for learning purposes. But yeah, um, so this is force times uh, 1, two, 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 something like that, maybe. I think actually, no, I'm wrong here. It's just this, I believe. And then, uh, oh, not is cash, has cash. And then the actual cash would be a value. I guess it doesn't really matter. In this case, it's true false. So then now all you have to do is just change this to if has cash of mask, then we return the cash at the very end. I mean, okay, fine. Otherwise, you do has ma as mask is equal to true. Uh, okay, I just want to make sure that numbers can be zero, so otherwise that's an additional case. But yeah, cache of mask is equal to true. Other, and then the other out path we we set this. It's a, I know that it's a lot more. It's a little bit more typing, but if you understand the uh, oops, the the logic, then this is pretty straightforward. And of course, the the hard part is just analyzing what are the possible inputs, and that's why you put it in a way instead. Okay, let's run the code real quick. <laughs> I don't know, this is a tough case. I think a tough case is something like this, but an impossible. But I don't know, I'm just going to YOLO, give it a submit, and then let's see <clears throat> if it's fast enough. Seems fast enough here. So yeah, um, like I said, in the worst case, you can imagine that in the worst case of all the numbers are the same, then this contains 2 to the n, and that means that for, uh, you know, here the number of inputs is over of 2 to the n and oops and if this is over of 2 to the n then this is going to be 4 to the n actually right i mean of course you can do other optimizations to make it sure you don't do get dupes but but that's going to be the thing but the reason why i didn't have to is because of this thing where the frequency of each element is from 1 to 4 so therefore in theory i guess it's only 16 times something like that because for each of the thing, you, you know, uh, you know, literally this example, for each of the thing, you have four different things, I guess, something like that. Um, but yeah, so it's actually, actual running time is way less. But yeah, um, I'm a little tired, a little bit of I just got off the flight, so I'm, I, that's all I have for, uh, it's not me. But yeah, uh, that's all I have for this one for now. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Uh, if you finish and if you're here at the end of the month, congratulate yourself. Congrats. And let's get, you know, let's get started on October. I'll see y'all later. And stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. Bye-bye.